Dear fellow coders, welcome to One Little Coder. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn about a new Python library called OPC. OPC is an open source, low code, AI powered automation tool. What does it mean? You can use OPC to create a powerful automation that's completely for free where you can collect data from a lot of different websites. For example, let's say that you have got an Android application on Google Play Store and you want to collect the reviews of Google Play Store and then do some text classification, let's say ML power text classification on it. And then you want the results to be sent to you on Slack or anywhere else you prefer. And this entire workflow could be easily configured using OPC, which is again an open source tool where you don't have to pay anything for OPC. To make a very simple application of this, I'm going to show you how easy and very simple it is for you to download Google Play Store reviews using OPSI. So if you are an Android developer, you might be quite interested in seeing what people write about your application on Google Play Store review. If this is something that interests you, let's get started. So OPSI follows a very simple workflow. So what are the workflows? The first step is you need to make sure that you have a very good computer. You have a very good computation. So for us, we are going to use Google Collab Notebook for that computation. The next step is you need to make sure that you have got OPC installed. So I'm going to go to my Google Collab Notebook and then trigger this OPC installation. For example, if you want to install OPC from PyPy, all you have to do is pip install OPC and I'm installing it in the quiet mode. So after I install OPC, the next important thing that I have to do is I have to configure the OPC source or observer. So in this case, as you can see right now at your screen, you can collect data from Twitter, you can collect data from Facebook, you can collect data from an email, or you can collect or scrape reviews from Google Map, App Store, Apple App Store, and Google Play Store. And in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to collect data from Google Play Store review for an Android application of your interest. So let us assume for, for the sake of our discussion that you are going to in, invest in insurance. So one of the leading insurance providers in India at this moment is a company called Digit. So I'm going to show you if you're going to so if you're going to use digit insurance, you want to probably make sure that what are the pain points that people already have, those, those who have already taken digit insurance. So I'm going to show you how you can collect Play Store reviews of the digit application. So this is the web app, this is the Android application digit insurance page and we are going to basically scrape or collect all these reviews so that we can understand how this review or how this digit insurance reviews available on Google Play Store. So this is what we're going to do now. So after we decide what is the source, what is the observer, we have to configure it. And you have a lot more other information as well. So you have Reddit, you have Google News, you have a simple web crawler. You can simply even read it from a Pandas data frame. You can simply read it from CSV as well. So for now, let's see how to do a Play Store review scraper. So what you have to do is from OPC source, Play Store Scraper, you have to input two things. You have to input a Play Store Scraper config and then you have to input a Play Store Scraper source. After you get the Play Store Scraper config, you have to define the configuration. I'm going to explain in detail about this configuration in a while, but right now, just look at this. You need to have a configuration, then you need to initialize the Play Store reviewer. Okay, so these are the two things that you have to do. After you have done this thing, the next thing that you have to do is you have to configure an analyzer. This is more like a transformer. So if imagine like you have collected data and then you want to do something with this data. What do you want to do with this data? So these are certain options OPC gives you to do. So the first thing is you can do a text classification. Text classification in machine learning is if you have text, if you have text, you want to classify you to a particular class, particular category. Let's say there is a review about update. Let's say there is a review about slow delivery. Then these are the reviews that you can classify into particular set of classifications, class uh, categories. And if you want to do that, you can use text classification. If you want to do sentiment analysis, you can do sentiment analyzer. If you want to do named entity recognition, you can use that. You have a lot of different options. But in our case, for this particular project that we are going to do in this video tutorial, we're going to simply download Google Play Store reviews. 
You're not going to do anything with that. You're not doing any machine learning with that. You're not doing any text analytics with that. You're simply going to download the reviews as a CSV file. So what I'm going to use here is I'm going to use a simple dummy analyzer. What is a dummy analyzer? If you do not want to do anything, if you do not want to do any machine learning activity on top of the text data that you just scraped or collected using your sourcer, then you can use dummy analyzer. So basically what dummy analyzer does is it doesn't do anything. It simply uses the payload, input payload, text payload, and it transforms into an output payload. And then that's it. You have a dummy analyzer setup. Once you have the dummy analyzer set up, next you have to configure the sync or informer. So this is where you want the output to be sent. You can get it on Slack, you can get it on Zendesk, you can get it on Jira, you can get it on Elasticsearch, wherever you want. But right now what we're going to focus is how to get the scraped reviews as a Pandas data frame. So if the objective here is we're going to collect Google Play Store reviews. Do not do any machine learning. Just completely get the text data as reviews and then transform them into a Pandas data frame, which we can write as a CSV and do anything that we want. Let's say we have a team that's going to go through the digit reviews. So what do you want? You want a CSV file from them with the reviews that has, let's say stars who has reviewed it and what is the content of the review. And this is the thing, this is the step. So we need Pandas, we need to import data frame from Pandas. Then from Opsi, we're going to import opsi.sync panda sync because we are going to do pandas let's say if you're going to do slack you're going to import opsi.sync.slack sync okay in our case we're going to do a pandas data frame so we're going to do from pandas import data frame then from opsi.sync.panda sync we're going to import two things the same way what we did before when we set up our first scraper when we set up our observer what we did we extracted we imported a config and also we imported a source the same way you're going to import a sync panda sync and you're going to import panda sync configuration config so you have to config to say what you want it to do so basically we want a data frame and then we are going to initialize the panda sync once we do that at this point we are done and dusted with our configuration now we have to create our workflow what are we going to do with our workflow so first we need the source to look up based on the configuration which is exactly what we are going to do to collect our play store reviews once we do that we're going to do the transformation which is the analyzer's task in our case, we are not doing any machine learning. We're going to simply do a dummy transformer. And then finally, we're going to sync it. We're going to send it. We're going to send it to something that we want. And in our case, we're going to simply make a pandas data frame out of it. So this is basically the workflow. And finally, you run a Python script and then you're going to have the reviews as a pandas data frame. As simple as it looks, let me quickly demo it to you and show you the code that I'm going to write to extract digit reviews as a pandas data frame. So we have already, like I said, we have a Google Collab Notebook and as you can see, I'm running it on a CPU environment. This is not a GPU environment. The first step that I've done is install Opsi. After I install Opsi, I need certain information for me to download Play Store reviews. The first thing is, what is a brand name that I'm trying to download? Okay, Digit is a brand name that I'm trying to download. Second thing, what is the identifier, the app name? So I have to go to the App Store and then see what is the app name that I'm trying to download. com.godigit.digit is the app name with which this app developer has update, uploaded the Android application on Play Store. And that's what we're going to use here. So that is our identifier. The third thing is we need to define the country. So the Play Store reviews that you see for every country is different. So we want reviews for India because that is what we are interested in. And finally, we're going to define a lookup period. What is a lookup period? A lookup period is a time when we want the reviews to be looked up. So by default, Google restricts only 200 reviews. So Google restricts only 200 reviews, which means even if you say that I want the reviews for the last 365 days, by the time your number of reviews exceeds to 200, you cannot extract more than that. So for that, you have to play with the time period. For now, let's just go with this 365 days and extract 200 reviews. And after that, you have to now define the source. So what is the source from opsi.source? Play Store Scraper, we want Play Store Scraper and then import two things, Play Store Scraper Source, 
Play Store Scraper config. And after you do that, now you have to define the config. Play Store Scraper config and you have to say, okay, I want only the India review. So countries is equal to India. And then I want the package name, which is the Android application name, which is com.godigit.digit. And then finally, we have the lookup period that is defined. Once you define the source config, now you have to initialize the source. So Play Store score, Play Store Scraper source, that's it. You define it as the object source. The next thing is you have to define the transformer. Like as you can see, all these things we are going to just define. We are not going to execute. We are not going to create the workflow, which is only at the final step. So next thing is you have to define from OPC analyzer we just do dummy analyzer and in dummy analyzer we have two things dummy analyzer and dummy analyzer config inside dummy analyzer config we don't have anything and inside dummy analyzer we are just initializing it so our analyzer is set up and ready up and running for us now the next thing is let's say we want to convert that into a pandas data frame so this is the sync operation so from pandas import data frame from opsi.sync pandas underscore sync import pandas sync and pandas sync config so we are going to simply say what is our configuration for pandas sync and then we are going to initialize pandas sync at this point we have everything initialized every configure defined and set up so right now we are going to create those workflows so let, let, let me say that we're going to create workflows so at this point we're going to say source which is what we defined at the first step and lookup source dot lookup with the source config that we just set up here so this is the source config so source dot lookup source config so we're going to call it source response list the output of the source lookup and this is what we're going to get so let me quickly run this let me run all of this and then we can start so after i install opc i'm going to run this configuration i'm going to run this source i'm going to run this analyzer i'm going to run the sync now i'm going to run the source response list so it's going to look up based on the source config that you just defined and it's going to extract the source response list and now we are going to do the transformation so transformation and in this case we are going to do a simple dummy transformation so dummy transformation which is our analyzer here we are going to not we're not going to do anything with that so you're going to specify the input which is the source response list and we are going to specify the analyzer config which is in this case is dummy so let me run this and then the final step is sync our output so sync slash output and this like for example if you want it on slack if you want it on zendesk if you want it on let's say jira you can specify this but in our case we are going to simply say that we want a pandas data frame as an output so which means sync dot sent data we are going to say the output of this is analyzer response list analyzer response list and sync config so sync config is what something that we defined here which converts this data into a pandas data frame and then we're going to send it to this object which is sync underscore response underscore list so at the end of this process when you run this ideally you should have a pandas data frame with the reviews that are available on the play store page of digit so let's see at this point you can see the pandas data frame i can even i can even write csv i can even export this as a csv you can say whatever i want but right now let's just look at these reviews and see if it makes sense if whatever we have tried works okay so the first review says i'm having a terrible experience so i'm going to go to the go to the play store and i'm going to see okay the first review is i'm having a terrible experience so this is the latest review it's been given by sahil so i'm going to look at the name okay sahil and then i'm going to look at the th third review and it says very bad so i'm going to look at the third review and then it says very bad so as you can see we have successfully managed to extract the reviews of a play store android application from play store without using any api completely using few lines of python code that just works like charm and that is the amazing thing about opc because you can set up this workflow configured using github actions or wherever you have set up your workflow and then you can get these responses just like a trigger on your let's say slack or zendesk or jira or wherever you want so i'm going to quickly show you the same thing for a different application so that you understand that i'm not doing any sort of sorcery so I'm going to go to Zometo. Zometo is a very popular food delivery system in India. 
and we are going to extract their review so i'm going to go to zomato's page so i know this now what is the what is the package name so i'm going to go back here i'm going to call it zomato okay zomato and then i'm going to paste this detail here which is the which is the package name the identifier the package name with which the developer has uploaded zomato application on google play store i'm going to run this i'm going to run everything from that and then i'm going to go and wait for my final output at this point i've got the final output so with my final output i'm going to go to the zomato's reviews place let me see if the output that we have got is right so i'm going to go to the reviews and then say most recent newest reviews and then the first one says oops the newest let me review let me sort it by newest again horrendous no sense of customer care let me see uh, let me see here so it says riders are very rude so there is a there is a problem there is a problem let me see what is the problem so if i say most relevant i have the same review and newest as you can okay so as you can see it, it changes let me change it again you can see riders are very rude that's the first review that's the first review yes and then nowadays very bad type of business and that's the second review that you have got and then the third review that says excellent service and also one thing that i forgot to say is that it's not just you get the reviews which is a process text you also get the username which is something that we have already seen but you also get the score what is the star of the reviews meta score gives you that star so one star one star and the third one is four star and four star let me go back and see this one star one star four star and four star and as you can see this is this is like this works like charm so uh, so simple and so beautiful and so easy you manage to scrape or download play store reviews which used to be a really tough task like probably if you're going to do it with python you might have to set up selenium yourself you have to make sure that you're getting a pandas data frame you have to do a heck of a lot of thing but oopsie makes it so so easy for you to download google play store reviews and one thing that we have not done in this particular tutorial is to use a very important machine learning or nlp transformer so you can do text classification sentiment analysis and a heck of a lot of thing if you are using opc unlike what i've done which is using a simple dummy analyzer so if you are interested in any of this if you are interested in getting data from twitter facebook google maps app store reviews play store reviews reddit reddit reviews google news or any sort of crawler from the internet this library is for you and if you are interested in only in this subject which is to download google play store reviews you can easily set up this this particular script as a workflow on google action sorry github action or kaggle notebook wherever you want to set up schedule your workflow you can do that and this is going to be amazing so simple and easy you can get the final csv sent to you on slack or zendesk or jira wherever you have your final output system once again thank you so much uh, for watching this video